Bao stands for build your own Bao. You can build a little character. It's a little cute, little pudgy thing with little legs and you can attach little arms to it. It comes with two arms and you can attach a head to it if you want or you can have the head on the body, depending on what you prefer. You can move the arms up and down and you can actually even have six arms and you can put little hats on it and anything you need. So let's go have a look at how this actually works. So this is Bob. Uh, Bob is a nice little buddy here. Um, the hands are actually included as a bonus. I wasn't going to include it. I was going to just include this body, which you can attach things to. But then I decided, why not throw in some hands too? So inside Bob, he'll find controllers, find joints, which are hidden through the layers panel, which I don't really need to touch here, and the mesh, which is the actual Bob mesh itself. Bob has a great feature called an ass slider. And so if for some reason you need a bigger ass, you have this option here. So furthermore, um, you can, he has these four nulls here, which is top spine, mid spine, bottom spine, head stuff. Head stuff should probably be at the top. If you want to attach things here, um, you can drag them into the spines. For example, the top spine, which is this one here, as you can see, if you select this one here, you can rotate it. In the spine right now, we have the eyes, which will move together with that spine, regardless of where it goes. And we have the hands, which are hidden right now. So if we unhide them, so now when we rotate, the hands will move together with it. If we want these hands to be in the mid spline, fine. So we can drag them into here. And right now you'll notice that if we rotate this one, see, they don't move with it. So I would probably move them and then I would move them also down. So now you have kind of head and you have a different character already. And the cool thing is you can copy and paste these. So I can copy and paste these here and then we can have, whoops, selected, copy and pasted too much stuff. Just the hands, control drag them into here. And then we have some hands, we can rotate them a bit. Rotate these guys too. And then we can control drag them to the bottom spine as well and move them down. So now we have a set of hands for the top spine. We have a set of hands for the middle one. And we have a set of hands for the bottom one. So, you know, and also you have this wiggle here. So this is kind of convenient. Um, it lets you build characters pretty quickly. And also we have a head stuff. So right now the eyes are here, but you don't have to have a character like this. Like if we hide the eyes, we can add a sphere or any object you want and place it where you want it to be. So if you want the head to be here, we can make it editable and drag a bunch of these polygons out and maybe go into a point mode with a brush tool. So now we have this kind of head and we can place them into the head stuff. And now when we move this guy around and this head control at the top, we'll let you control your character that way. So it's an easy way to attach stuff to the top of a character. So you can have the head there, or you can have the head here. You can also, if you want, you can make a little mouth and pair it to, this, to the center spot, the center joint, etc. cetera. Um, I would say that soon there will be a face pack, which you'll be able to use to attach faces to this, but that thing's been in, in production stages for like over a year. So don't hold your breath. I'll try, but no promises for now. We have this though. So, and obviously you can, you know, in the head stuff, if you have a hat. You obviously have the option to, oops, D. So you can stick your little hat on him as well and just make sure it's in head stuff or put it into top spine. It doesn't really matter which one, yeah, probably top spine is better. And now it moves together with it. So. That's the main point of this character. Um, he has obviously IK and FK like my other characters on the legs. You can rotate them. Uh, keep in mind, this is a pretty fat character. So um, he will have limits on how far you can move his various parts. We have an independent hip controller here. You can see there's a bit of kind of um, overlap there, but you know, just if you want to set him up to do a step, you will probably have to do like a rotate and then move forward. And then if you move this leg up, you might want to also 
move this underneath this little controller too. So it's possible it just requires a bit of tweaking to get him into the steps that you need. Um, also, he has the regular slider controllers that are here, so you can ball rotate if you need them. You can heel rotate. Obviously, it's limited just by its shape, but yeah, you have all the stuff as usual, and you can attach what you want to him. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much the whole thing. If you have any questions, leave a comment and ask, and I'll get back to you. The hands also, you know, have IKFK. So if you click on this guy, you can switch him to IK here on the control tab. Um, also right now we can't really see them because oops, they're hidden inside, but we do have this top arm controller. Oh, this one here, which you can move. The bottom one here, it's, it, you can move it, but not always. If you switch, for example, to FK, um, then this little controller for some reason doesn't, it gets stuck because of the IK. So that's why you should animate this top controller here. If you want to place the arm, rotate the whole FK chain. I'm going to rotate here with the move doesn't work. I don't know why. So something to do with the IK tag. So basically you just have a controller for moving and rotating up top. And so, yeah, I think that covers it.